early morning for the Zenith. Just got to work. Okay, I think I need to turn it up a bit. Luigi, I hate this character. Also, is that the new Mario voice? RPG. It is. That's a new Mario voice. Charles Martinet retired, didn't he? The Superstar Saga. Or just new? This actually looks kind of cool. I like the way they animated them. Their designs are good. It actually reminds me of the, uh, of the, was it DS or was it a Game Boy game? <laughs> oh my god! Wait, show them fighting Sephiroth like Kingdom Hearts, please. Wait, show them fighting Sephiroth like Kingdom Hearts, please. Wait, how fucking... Sorry, Chad. I'm trying. <laughs> Sorry, you're hearing double audio. I'm trying to make sure it's loud enough. Is it loud enough for you guys? Is it loud enough? This is pretty sick. Yeah. That looks. That actually kind of brothership. Brothership is crazy. That's that's kind of sick. That's coming out in 2024. They just announced that. And I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Brothership is a crazy title. That's awesome. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Oh, I thought they were gonna. I thought they were about to say you can barely hear it, but you don't need to hear it right now. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that unfolds across mysterious islands. As well as evolved bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Why is okay, that the case? Let's see the first batch of headlines. Bring the championships home. All right, bring the championships home. Here we go. The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 150 speed running challenges from across 13 NES games, from lightning fast beats to action packed battles. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. Wait, this is sick. I thought it was going to be some dumb Tetris stuff, but this is good. Challenge? Check out classified information. Okay, but watch them pull out of their ass that this is only like limited time. Where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. Wait, 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 yeah. This is sick. But I guarantee you at the end they're like, yeah, we'll have it online only for one month. And then launches on Nintendo Switch. It's gone! Pre-orders for the digital and it's gone now on Nintendo eShop. A deluxe set containing a physical version of the game and really items is also available. I don't know, I don't trust this for some reason. It makes me feel like it's gonna be a Mario All-Star. Whoa, fairy tale? Zerif and Natsu? I already know this is about to suck. I'm under no delusions that this is gonna be good. It wasn't climactic. If you watched Fairy Tale, the show, God tier until this season. And then we dropped off hard. Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Engage in real time unleash powerful attacks that fuse different based on who's in your party. Why do anime games look so bad? It's supposed to be a Tetris battle royale thing. I don't I think it just looks like a 
that last one just looks like a speedrun battle royale. Not even a battle royale, it's just a speedrun game. Acnologia is one of the coolest characters in all of, like, media, and nobody knows who he is because that final battle sucked ass. It sucked so bad. Yeah, no. If a game... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If a game looks like this still, I'm not playing it. I can't. This is not my thing. You know, Chad, I realized I used to be a big RPG turn-based kind of guy. I'm just so uninterested now. I need that, like, when I press a button, I'm hitting something. I don't want to be, pr like, and, like, I can move around. Like, I need real-time stuff. I cannot stand around and wait for my turn. Fantasian? Wait. Isn't that like a bigger game? I guess that's a, like a spin-off. Dude, this game sucks, man. Give up on it. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, you're telling me in Nintendo Switch Sports they didn't have pickup basketball? And it's only two on two? I'm gonna freak out at them. I'm gonna freak out at them so bad. Try out three point challenge solo. Slick Bikes is still waiting for the Fire Emblem remakes of Ike's game. I hate to break it to you. I don't from what I've seen, I think it's gonna be Genealogy of the Holy War. It's gonna be Fire Emblem Echoes Genealogy of the Holy War. Jin! Jin! I'm in it! I'm in it! No! Oh, I got stunted on! Oh fuck! This free update for Nintendo Switch Sports. I got stunted on. Chat, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. They should have put me on the three-point line. 100% accurate. Shooting rate. What is this? He's downloading femboy videos into his Neuralink right now. He needs that cable. It's so many terabytes. You'll take it? Genie you want Genealogy of the Holy War? Really? I was hoping they would do Binding or Blazing Blade or both. That's just because I love Roy. My son. Okay. This looks like Celeste meets Hollow Knight, kinda. That's a, such a bad comparison. This just looks like a new game. I don't know why I'm trying to compare it to things. Mia Memories and Orbit. That's a 2025 release, so that's interesting. Because there's been lots of talk of a Switch 2. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm about to, I'm about to put my, I'm about to put myself on screen. Cause I, you know, if they say, oh, Mickey Mouse was on your screen and I get hit with a lawsuit, that's Disney. I'm dead. I'm just dead. The end. That's it. Career over. <clears throat> Minus 40 quadrillion dollars. I'm done for. Okay, let me put you let me put you all back on it. Let me put you back on it. Guys, don't you love Hello Kitty? Don't you guys don't you just love Hello Kitty? Chai, who's gonna buy this? Who's gonna play this on stream with me? Four hundred dollars and I'll buy it. I will. I won't. I'm gonna scam you. Oh my gosh! Wait, 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 wait! Put put Lola Bunny on the screen. Put Lola Bunny on the screen. Put Lola Bunny on the screen. Put Lola Bunny. Where is she? Yes, yes. 
Dude, I need Lola Bunny on that basketball court. <gasps> yes, give the people what they want. Yes. That's all, folks. Let's see if it'll be NBA game on. Son of a son of a son of a son of a Oh. New crewmate and imposter roles are being I don't, bruh. Dude, I don't have enough people to play this game. I never have enough people to play this game. You can't add more. You can't add more roles, bruh. You can't add more roles. I can't even fill that many people in a lobby. Okay. Wait, that guy looked like Natsu. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land. Okay, so Digimon. Hiro Mashima? That, that has to be... Yeah, this is designed by the same... Yeah, that's definitely the guy who made Fairy Tail. Because he looks like Natsu and the Eden Zero guy. Huh? From plants? Oh, this is just big Pikmin. Merge all of the battle buddies in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon. Oh! On your foes. Oh my gosh! This is so unhype! Woo! Big Pikmin! Launching on Nintendo Switch, November 1st. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but I'm not gonna... It's... <laughs> and for that reason, I'm out. Donkey Kong Country oh, it's the 25th anniversary. <laughs> Wait, no, it's the 25th anniversary for DK64, I think. Stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana hoard. My car keys. My car keys convincing me to drive. Ooh. Yeah, I was never a big DK. Donkey Kong Country fan. Well, I never played them, so. I heard they're good. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of transportation what do you... methods available. He's got some groovy ass music. Actually, there's there's some cool like visuals to this game. Including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Oh, cool. For seventy to five dollars. We're selling you the same game, but HD, guys. Don't you want it? One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. <laughs> Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Ah, it looks pretty Let's good. Take a look at this. My just brain melts. Oh, this has to be Fire Emblem, right? Time is nigh. Bike, are you still in here? No, nope. Dragon Quest. No, I was so wrong. I was actually so wrong. Yeah, I just. Oh. Uh... I don't know, man. Like, how am I supposed to get hype for this when it. This doesn't even, like, look bad. But I just... It's not my style of game that I like anymore. Memorable encounters. Perplexing challenges. Like, I, I think I would have absolutely loved this when I was in, like, sixth grade. <laughs> that looks good. Like, this is a cool- that's a cool-ass set piece for, like, an 8-bit character turn-based RPG type deal. Oh, 
the legacy begins. And it's the guy that looks like Gohan, too, so that's kind of sick. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. I just, yeah, I'm not a, not a turn-based guy, not a turn-based guy, but, you know, I mean, if you like Dragon Quest, Woo! Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah! Yeah? The Erdrick Trilogy! I'm sorry. <laughs> when I hear this music, I go, Huzzah! Dragon Quest! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just the music choice for those games, I think. I may maybe this is a hot take, but I think it's fucking terrible. I thought it was terrible too in the Smash Bros. trailer. They're also getting HD 2D, that's nice. So if you're so what I'm hearing is if you're an old school fan of Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3, you are absolutely losing the edging streak right now. Hey, congrats to y'all. Congrats to you guys. You're, you're sliming all over the place right now. You, you're slippity sliming it up. We hope you're excited to play the entire Erdrick trilogy. Now in HD 2D. <laughs> no, I'll pass. You know, stop right there, criminal scum. I'm done. I'm good. GG, go next. Dude, I, no. Can, can, I, can I get one game I care about? Actually, the Mario RPG kind of counts for that. I didn't realize Funko actually had a game. Chad, do you want to watch me eat honey? Where you going to? I don't care what your answer is, because I'm going to do it. Freddy Fazbear, I immediately care. Unique puzzles, hidden areas, and familiar foes. Dinosaurs from Jurassic World and Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. They're certainly not toying around. Unbox the universe. When Funko Fusion... This reminds me of, like, Astro's Playroom. September 13th. I'm gonna be that guy that just keeps saying, this reminds me of... This reminds me of... Silly. Because, I don't know, every game nowadays just looks like another game. Ready for an adventure of ghoulish proportions? No. I'm sorry, I'm not. Your I ain't a Luigi guy, bruh. I've been, I've been down-throwed into the up B zero-to-death combo in Smash Bros. too many times by this character for me to have any sort of appeal or positive feelings. On Nintendo Switch for Luigi. How many farm games so far? There was a, actually one. There was one actual farming game, but it's also like Pikmin. You like, you're like farm, you can like turn into crops. And then you, you fight them. I think. And more. There's been actually only one farm game. You know what's crazy? I actually know what this is because on my 3DS as a kid, I played the Dempamen. It was it was terrible. Don't buy that game. I know they just said it was free, but don't even bother. Build out your decks to win tactical tussles. This actually looks like an old Flash game I used to play. With other players in online battles. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo Switch system. Wait, why does this remind me of that game where you're like, you have two cat armies and you fight each other? On an expedition of the dam in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Okay. Fight off nightmarish fiends in turn based there, Okay, this one isn't about farm games. This one's had at least eight turn based games in it already. 
launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Pre-orders begin later today. Turn-based RPG. Turn-based RPG. Turn-based RPG. Turn-based RPG. Turn-based RPG. Turn RPG. Turn RPG. The Switch got no games. Josh, they did say Mario and Luigi Brothership, which is the new RPG game. Turn-based RPG, might I add. But th that one looks kind of good. This is cool. Dude, just put just put the Pokemon games on here. Plus, coming to the new Nintendo Six. Mature seventeen plus. Yeah. Golden Eye. The dangerous lost land to stop the campaigners' nefarious schemes in Turok. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> I don't think Turok Dinosaur Answer was quite what I was expecting. Perfect Dark! The alien conspiracy in pew, pew, Perfect pew. Dark. Now with pew. online multiplayer. Online multiplayer, yeah. This will be available for Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members. That is crazy to see. Turok. Turok in 2024 is crazy. Not good, but it's crazy. You can emulate almost all of these. Don't say that word. I don't want to get sued. Young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. Guys, <laughs> what would you tell me? <laughs> oh, no. What would you say if I told you this was another turn-based RPG? Okay, it's not like... It is turn-based, but I think it's like an XCOM type of turn-based. Yeah, it looks like it. Combined with a cannon to attack a large area. Guys, check out our newest turn-based RPG. That seems like it's a 50-50 on turn-based. I was a, I was I was in my head. I I was slowing down the joke because I I was gonna say. Either turn-based RPG, farm game, or farm game turn-based RPG. This one's gonna take you for a ride. Josh, yeah, this is your guy. Oh! Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Huh? In X Men versus Street Fighter. Duke it out in Marvel versus Capcom Two. Josh. Take down the kingpin and the beat him up side Wait, this is sick. And more. Wait, that's actually sick. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Yo! Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Yeah, Justin. In the Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork. Wait, that's sick! This is so cool! Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. This is huge. MVC2 hasn't been released in 20 years. Yeah, and play it today on Nintendo Switch. Mario Party! Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest... I'm not gonna get too hype yet, chat. Yet. I thought the last two Mario... Mario yeah, Super Mario Party Jamboree. The, I thought the last two Mario Parties that released are both, like, 3 out of 10. I'm a harsh critic. Okay, wait. In-game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track. Okay, wait. Never mind the Switch fits games. Gots games. Yes, sir. Unless it releases on other... It'll probably release on other consoles. Goomba Lagoon. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. Wait, okay, this game doesn't look that bad. Some mini games are action-packed challenges, speed trials, 
I'm gonna retract my previous statement. Oh. Oh no, motion controls. Oh! Robo arm wrestling. That one was crazy. What? Compete against your rivals. Do they have servers though, or is it your own Wi-Fi? Try your best to come out on top. Any dedicated servers for this, or am I or are we about to lag out so bad? There are even more new modes. The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway. The biggest Mario Party yet. Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. Okay, unironically, that that was the I'm excited. In the I like that game. Series. That looks good. Super Mario Party Jamboree. Good. Boards, yes, chat. It's turn-based, but it's different. It's like a board game. More, get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. And that's now, that's pretty sick. That's like the Smash Ultimate of Mario Parties. L Link? Link? Hello? Yeah? Yeah? Goddess Sword Link? What was that? This is not Goddess Sword Link. Looks like it, though. Yeah? Save her! I don't know which one this is. Wait, is this new? No, this can't be like a new game, can it? Huh? Mario Galaxy? Legend of Zelda? Oh, wait, no way you play a Zelda? An actual Legend of Zelda game? Wait, actually a new game? Wait, what? That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Lock in, lock in. Listen to this man when he speaks. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Oh! It's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. New! I like it. You might be thinking Will Zelda fight with a sword then? No. Let me give me magic. We wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. I want to blow shit up with magic. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Come on. Stolen away across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many. No, Grandma. Link. Link! Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious <laughs> staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey of. Guys, surely that wouldn't be part of the Triforce, right? Surely not. By waving the Tri Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Zelda Animal Crossing? Echo of something you can oh! whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Oh! Just like that. That's kind of cool. You can create wooden boxes. I thought she was going to copy the child and just start creating a child army. Cool Go, my child soldiers! How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. Huh. It's almost, it's almost like they're trying to take the freedom of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. And put them in That's this format. Though. You can also create echoes of monsters. Oh, eh? so they'll fight by your side. Oh, what? Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. You get to be like a summoner. Oh, yeah?
In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. Okay. How was that? That was good. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the echo ability. Which Very is interesting. So wait, why are they pulling all this out right now? He hasn't counted them all yet. Okay, knowing this is coming from the Zelda department, it's gonna be a good game. Oh, the redead. That was sick. September wait. They just announced this for the first time ever now. That's crazy. They sat on these games for so long and they're only coming out in a few months. Stolen away. Back to Mr. I love that guy. Eiji Anuma is great. Please look forward to the newest entry. I will. That was good. That was nice. Let's see a few more headlines. That was nice. I, I I can't even I can't even lie. Let loose and party on. Am I about to get hella copyright struck for a Just Dance video? No, oh, wait. I don't like that they have faces. Why'd they give them faces? Guys, forty hot new tracks. I'm actually gonna. Uh, e, ooh. I don't know if this is a copyright song. I'm sorry, Chad. I, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared about Just Dance. It scares me. This guy scares me in particular. Medium. Oh, God. These look like the superimposed, like, fate. Ah, I don't know what that art style is, but like those, those characters that look 3D and smiling friends. I just like those guys. I don't like that they have faces. That that shouldn't be a thing. That should not be a thing. A new Lego adventure is on Horizon, yeah. It's the world of Horizon in Lego form. Join the yeah. Aloy on a quest to save the world from an ancient evil. Journey through lush landscapes. Is this just Horizon but Lego? Climb up onto tall necks. And traverse other locations inspired by the original game. Inspired. Be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity bombs to hunt them down. Okay. The watchers, to mighty sawtooth. You might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. Oh my gosh! You can help Aloy rebuild her home. And customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. Okay. Lego Horizon Adventures launches on Nintendo Switch. I mean, looks kind of cool. If you got a buddy you're trying to play Lego Horizon with, there you go. Stray's journey begins. We we Switch didn't have this game yet. This game mad old, no? It's like three years old. That could be so wrong. Don't quote me on that. No, kitty! No! No! Experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of the cat, separated from their family and friends. I actually never watched anybody play this game. Was it good? I think it, it won an award or something now. Or did it get nominated? Create new paths for yourself. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. Careful though. Not everyone is excited to have you slinking around. Including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Hey! Hey! If that cat dies, bro. Your world. We're about to throw hands in the streets. I don't care. I'm going to smash that guy's iPhone face right through the floor. Okay, if you if you get anywhere near my cat. I'm about to brick your phone, dude. If you've ever 
wanted to live like a hobbit from the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> no, I have <laughs> a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth. What on earth could this be? Customize your appearance, decorate your home, Bro. and settle into life in the <laughs> Bro. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, the be you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve problems, and even share a meal. Bro, watch them go. Yeah, then you can farm. Oh, garden. What? Fuck, that does gonna be another farm. Homemade dishes. Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals. Bruh. Friendly hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when Tales of the Shire launches on the Nintendo Switch system. That, I don't know, chat, that might be the worst looking game they've put out on this. Investigate, interrogate, Ooh! Ooh! Objection! These attorney spin-off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes. Yeah, I don't, I don't think attorneys do that usually. I don't, I don't think you have attorneys at the scene of crimes normally. Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer, or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Take Wait, this is sick, chat. The gallery, Japanese people don't understand the law. Including orchestral huh? And more. Past and are they not a more lawful society than we are? At any cost. If anything, I feel that they are acutely aware of the law and adhere to it. On a much more regular basis than, than us from the U.S. Josh, what the f what the fuck are you talking about? Don't be saying that shit, my chat. Their faces are not doing it for me. And they're dead. And two kids died on screen in a Nintendo Direct. Whoops. attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. Takumi Samino? school mascot suddenly appears. Takumi manages to get out of harm's way. He's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. Dude, what the hell is this? Denken Rappa! Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. To note, guys, no way. Turn-based tactical RPG. And the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this 100-day trial? I actually don't think this seems... And despair ...and return to his normal life? The creators of Danganronpa present... Oh my god. The, the creators of Danganronpa. I was right. I don't think that looks that bad, though. Defend it for a hundred days seems kind of like a cool, interesting... I don't know, it just seems a little interesting as a concept. A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Wait, what? Why is that guy's animations look... Rule and expand the empire of Varen across multiple generations. While what? That guy's... ...the legendary seven heroes who have turned to darkness. Wait, why does that guy's animations look kind of fluid? Oh my god. Chat! Would you like another turn-based RPG? I think you don't have enough turn-based RPGs? Take another turn-based RPG? Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. Guys, would you like another remake of a turn-based RPG? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the Every game, man. Every game. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, this one okay. Seven heroes to be fair, at least, this one looks more interesting than 90% of the ones they've shown me. Saga 2, Revenge of the Seven, launches on that one looks more interesting art style-wise to me than a lot of the other ones.
We hope you're excited to experience. We hope you're excited. That's it. Goodbye. Worst direct ever. Almost everything. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Metroid Prime Four. Oh, oh. Let's go. It's been since 2017 since they announced this. Wait. Oh! Wait, she looks so good. Oh! Releasing today, imagine. Yeah, wait, this looks good. That looks good. Holy crap. Yeah? It's been 50 years since they announced Be Metro Prime 4 Beyond. Yeah? That was crazy. Oh, they got more. I'm in it. Yeah, I'm buying this. This game looks crazy. 2025. No! It looks so good. It looks so good, chat. That was a first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Damn it. After a very I'm, long time, yeah. we are finally able to share more information about this title. This shit looks dope. The release is planned for 2025. More Early, late? A bit longer. Uh, man, I'll, I'll wait. What Nintendo needs to understand is that I will wait. Like, don't just push out a game that's not done. Thank you for watching. Like, I'll wait. Like, wait a little longer, sure, buddy. If you need more time to make it good, I'll wait till it's good. Yes, sir. Okay. Well. Pokemon? Why are people saying Pokemon in chat? Don't they understand that Pokemon does their own thing? They do with a show called Pokemon Presents. Okay, this guy's coping. Jacob Mincy, best direct ever. Ban that guy out of my chat. Ban him in my chat, specifically. I know, that's going to be such a such a hit to his morale. Such a hit to his morale. No Fire Emblem. Josh says, I wish they did this later in the day. I would have came harder if I was awake. You didn't get that morning wood buff? You didn't get the, the, the buff effect, though, from waking up? I'm sorry. Why am I even talking about this? Okay. Well, okay. Well, let's go over it. Let's go over it, chat. What? Let's do a little recap. I'm, I really want to watch this video. Touring a 44.5 million Hollywood Hills mansion. Oh, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that to watch later. I know it's an hour long, but dude, oh, that's a stream, baby. Intermission. All right, let's do a little recap. Let's do a little recap. Let's throw on like a... Uh, I don't know. Some no copyright music, y'all. Y'all? Oh, how loud is this? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good now. Okay.
chat. So let's let's recap a little. Let's just let's just hit a little ooh, YouTube rewind here. This is a little ooh, YouTube rewind here. Um, what am I excited about in that direct? Josh says play Cavern Stage from MVC2. All right, buddy, I'll play your I'll play your song. I am excited about Super Mario Party Jamboree. Uh, I'm excited for the Mario and Luigi RPG. Is that what I just said twice? No, Jamboree and RPG. Okay. Thank God. Is this it? Okay, yeah, I want to play. Um, I want to play that Mario and Luigi Brothership game. That looks good. That Super Mar that Super Mario Party Jamboree looked pretty sick. I'm about it. I'm about it. What else was there? No Fire Emblem, kind of. No Fire Emblem, and I'm, I'm kind of... That's interesting to me. I thought for sure they'd be dropping a Fire Emblem on us. Like a remake or a new game or something, but nothing. Nothing is not what I was expecting. It's okay. I think I need a little more time before I'm ready to even play a Fire Emblem game. After playing in Fire Emblem and Engage. And just losing all passion for the series off that one. Holy crap, that game sucked. That game had really fun gameplay, but the character, story, music, trash, trash, trash. When normally those three things in those games is fantastic. Uh, what else am I excited for? Um, no, Metro Prime Four, duh. That one's that one looks crazy. That actually, unironically, that looks great. There were about 24 turn-based RPGs in that presentation. Like, at least 20. Somebody has to go back through and count them, right? Can we... If I make this a YouTube video, I'm about to add in a section right here. No, right after I say this. Where... I go through and count every single turn-based RPG that they announced. I'm counting anything turn. They say that's turn-based. I don't care if it's tactical or if it's a top-down or traditional. I don't get. I don't care. I'm about to count them. I'm about to count them out of spite. Okay, turn-based RPGs. So many of them. That might be all I was interested, to be honest. That might be the only thing. Mario Party, Mario and Luigi, Brothership. And Metro Prime 4. There's that Donkey Kong Country remake, but... Not remake. It just a, a remaster. HD remaster. Eh! You know, like, it's nice, but I never played the original. And you might be like, well, it's a good chance for you to play it now. I'm like... No. No, I'm go. Oh, the Zelda game! The Zelda game. Legend of Zelda. I don't remember. I don't remember what it was called. But that Zelda game looked kind of cool. I'm usually not a huge fan of the ones that don't look like Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, Wind Waker. Like the 3D Zeldas. Those are kind of my thing. Not much of a top-down Zelda guy. But that one looks good. I like that one. It's in the same style as Link's Awakening, the re the the remake that they did of that game, uh, which I, I never played, but it, it looked good. It looked like a good game. And Zelda is a quality over quantity type de like dev team, so I'm kind of 
I'm not too worried that that's going to be a bad game, you know? Which is, it's so nice to say that I run a Nintendo game. Uh, no, no Smash Bros. news. Wasn't really expecting that, to be honest. I'm good with Ultimate. I love that game. Anything else crazy big they didn't talk about? Pikmin already had a release. No, no F Zero, no Mario Kart Nine, Nine. But I mean, they just finished those DLC courses for Mario Kart Eight, so I don't know why they would release a Nine. And that game also rocks. I'm fine with that. I'm not trying to drop 60 bucks on another Mario Kart, you know? 70 bucks. Actually, I don't know how much they charge for games now. But I don't know if the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom thing was a now we're elevating the price of every game to $70 or just because that one was like, yeah, we took like seven years on this and it's a good game. You're paying $70. Hopefully it's the latter. Because I ain't trying to pay 70 bucks for... Uh, my top-down Zelda game. When well, Link's Awakening is like 60, probably. It's like... Almost the same thing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's it. I think that's it. Well! Anyway, chat. I'll be back tonight. I'll be back tonight. 8.30. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Okay? It's a double stream day. Because I'm like that. I'm crazy. I'm going cuckoo bananas. I'm about to freak out and crash out on stream. <laughs> Let me dial it back. Let me dial it back. I think that was more excitement than I showed the entire presentation. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be back tonight. 8.30.